Hey YouTubers, Neil Nils Coins. Oh, what a what a weekend! Uh, if you watched my second from last video, you could tell I was in Chattanooga at the Chattanooga Coin Show. There's another one in March. Uh, there's another one this week, coming weekend in Augusta. There's a few more. Uh, I don't know if I'll go to the Augusta show. But anyway, that was Saturday. Today, the 14th, we have a little local show every month here in in uh, Marietta, Georgia. I went to it. I wasn't really planning on buying anything, but you know how it is. You see something you want, you, you got to buy it. So anyway, and I had to buy a few things for a friend. Uh, I bought a BU roll, 40% Kennedy halves, 40% meaning 40% silver. Uh, 64 Kennedys are 90%. And then you got 65 through 70 or 40 percent, and then your bicentennial uh, coins are 40 percent silver. Real nice roll. Uh, you can tell they're silver by looking at the end. If they were clad, you could see the copper. Um, but if you notice, there's one missing. There's one missing. So, why is there one missing? I'll tell you why there's one missing. Because I went through and looked look for varieties and looking for double dies. Uh, DDOs or DDRs. Double die reverse or double die obverse. And I found one. This is the double die obverse. Bicentennial. Half dollar. It does have some dings there. There. I think that's a little toning mark. But this. You know, it's not the best of shape as some of the other ones in there. The back of it is actually pretty nice. I don't see but one or two. There's something going right there and there and there. But other than that, it's the reverse is gorgeous. And that's usually the way it is on coins. Even your Morgan dollars are, are like that. But anyway, there's doubling... On the T, on the left side of the bottom portion of the T, the R, U, and S is doubled. I doubt you'll be able to see that. Uh, with the lighting. No, can't see it. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. Um, bottom part of the S, inside the top, bottom of the U, the top of the T, and the R is doubled. Uh, there's not many graded in, in BU, uh, BU being beautiful, uncirculated. Uh, Real nice, honest coin. You can tell. I graded it probably a 64. Now, I paid $100 for this whole roll. With this coin in there. I believe I'm going to start cherry picking these things. Because. In MS65. This one coin. Is four hundred dollars. Will it grade sixty five? No, my luck, no. It'll grade sixty four. 
64 is in the $300 range. So, is it worth buying BU rolls of uh, Kennedy halves? Yes. I have tripled my money. And I still got 19 more to sell. So, for you guys that like to cherry pick stuff, uh, I'm going to start paying more attention to the BU rolls of Kennedy halves. I've done a lot of videos here lately on these halves. Uh, the Kennedy ones, anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, several in this last couple of weeks. Uh, there's money in them. Uh, these normally come in the red packs. I don't have one here. They come like, normally come in a, a set with bicentennial silver quarter and the Ike dollar in a red envelope and I thought I had one but I I must have not have got it out for the video but anyway uh, I'm going to start looking for this because there's not that many graded there's not not a lot on it sometimes you get lucky I guess I did for once and if I could get that in a 65 grade, I would be very happy. But uh, anyway, I hope you like this video. Check your BU rolls. Start buying them because you can always get your money back. Um, like if I if I bought this roll and there wasn't nothing in there, I can always get my $100 back. So it's, it's really worth looking for these varieties. Even if it's a 64 roll, look at them or, or any roll. 65, there's all kind of varieties in different years. Oh, I got a message. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.